Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Well, I cut that a bit short, didn't I? So let's have a look what I did wrong to start with. I I missed out on three blocks actually, it wasn't too obvious. And they're blocks, so let's have a kind of look. Hopefully it's still up. Uh, it's not showing me. <laughs> but let's, so oh, this is such a pain. Um, if I knock this one out of here, and put, oh, and this one out of here, and then put the right click this again, we should get it back again. I'm not sure why it disappeared. Let's put those two back into that. And here we've got coils. We've got iridium coils, gold coils, copper coils, titanium coils, aluminium coils. Now it matters as to which ones you put in, and I can't remember me remember for which one is the best. But we've got this void or resource miner, and that is actually surprisingly useful. So let's have a look. What do we need? Iridium? It's either iridium or titanium. I'm not sure which. This. So we've got some iridium ore here. Let's take a stack of that out. Let's take a stack of titanium ore out, which is actually not called titanium ore. It's called rutal ore this one and then we can look at the uses of that so if we put it through the pulver I think the best way is probably putting it through the pulverizer or the induction smelter if I use cinnabar I get three ingots of this stuff so let's do that now to make cinnabar what we need is some redstone ore I've got six no actually it's destabilized redstone is the one I want which is the one I picked up by chance because uh, it gives you a 50% chance of getting uh, cinnabar so I'm putting it in the one with all the upgrades in here let's do that there's a good chance of getting cinnabar like that in fact you're always getting guaranteed one for each one each one see so basically like that so then if we put this into the, which one was the induction smelter I think which is the one in the middle isn't it so I put three of those into here like that and then put three, it doesn't matter, iridium or titanium, we will get three ingots. And here we'll get a chance of platinum, uh, plutonium, platinum or shiny metal. In fact, I think it's 100% chance with cinnabar. So we've got nine iridium. Actually, what we do need is we need three eights, 24. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Now we've got 14. So we'll do that. So 3 out from 1. Let's go try that again. 3 eights. So that was 6, isn't it? Oh. It was 7. Let's put that in with 6 of these. And we should get the what we need. This, this, this destabilized, what's it called? Clath rate is very good for a destabilized liquids, destabilized redstone. Or you put that, you get two and a half times as more than just standard redstone. So that should give us enough of those now. This is finished. So we've got a 27, that's enough for those. So let's do the same thing in here. So what did I say? It was 312, I think, was what? Uh, 12, let's do 12. Actually, it's not 12, is it? It's uh, 9. So we get three titanium plus one rich slag. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think there was a hundred percent chance of that. We'll look at the recipe for this one, or the use of this one. If we go to the induction smelter, seventy-five percent chance. I think I could do better if I actually changed this to being something else. Oh, 24. 
So I only needed eight really. I miscounted in both cases. That was extremely well done. So and that's a look at the uses of that. We need we can make a titanium seed. Okay, good. Didn't know that. Oops, must click that anyway. I didn't want to do that one. What I want are these coils. Let's do that again. It's just basically around the side, isn't it? So three of those is what we need, all three iridium. And it, as I said before, it does make a difference. Like that. Let's go and put those into the machine. I think the best one in this case is iridium because it's the hardest one to get. Huh. And of course it's disappeared again. Now, I think they're actually here. But it's a bit of a nuisance if it's a bit misbehaving, <laughs> which it has. That's probably because it's, it's to, uh, unloaded the chunk or something like that, I guess is what's happened. Let's put that like that. And then rotate it down. Up, of course. Oh, well, of course. I had a choice of. Okay, two places are wrong, that's fine. Let's put these back into here. Coil is here. And the other one was. Oh, that's what they the other one I broke was here, wasn't it? I think that's correct. Let's go and fill this hole in. Now we should be able to do the top layer. I always get it wrong, it's, it's going down. So heat proof bricks. And you notice this just doesn't change. It's different types of power plugs. But you can't use anything else, just there has to be a power plug. Whereas the other ones where we're changing, and I know you only need one input like that. So let's right click this now. I'm missing something else. That's very strange, I don't understand. It was something up here, but I'm sure it's a coil. Tell you what, if you mess up too much, I think we've got everything we need this time. Let's just or excavate it away. Pick up the bits. I'm sure that actually not so bad. See, I've got a few bits which I can't pick up because I've got no space. So let's just move around here. I don't need the ones with me, do I? I don't need the cinema. Okay, let's just do this again. First, you don't succeed, try and try again. So, what have I just done? Okay, so now I go. I suppose I could even do it from top down, actually, as it happens. Let's do it from top down. And now uh, that's not a good idea. Because. Let's just break that away. <laughs> You're better starting from the bottom up. Let's do that again. Now, we have to rotate the thing down. I think I've done it too far. That's the whole picture. Here we go. Wow, I'm messing around with this really badly today. This is a 5x5 five five round area. again so that's too far so actually you have to go down so we need input and output hatches and the arc furnace goes in the middle so electric arc furnace goes here then you need input that's the power plugs and output hatch I'll put the output hatch on the right hand side and the input hatch goes on the left hand side like that and the rest of this is just heat-proof heat blocks. So I suppose the easiest way to do this 
just to take this. It doesn't matter about the ones at the outside. I can't right click, click, click it. Why can't I right click? Ah, yes, of course I can't right click. <laughs> because it's doing the the vis invisible bit. Wow. Okay. See these say heat proof bricks as well, or input hatch. That's if you really want to get into lots of inputs and outputs. Right, that looks good. So let's take this and mouse scroll down one. So we've got our heat proof bricks again. So it doesn't matter. This is just a ring of heat proof bricks. Here and mouse shift mouse click down again. So we've got more heat proof bricks. What's happened here? Have I got two layers? No. So these are the coils. So let's do the heat proof bricks first of all because they're in my hand. Go off the thing altogether. No, those are the coils, aren't they? Let's go and put the coils into place. Once we've got this built, we can change over, and you can see what happens if you if you use different coils. And let's do the last layer now. So they do sit on top of the power points. Okay, that's no big deal. Let's just do that power plug. You notice you can actually clip the top bit of these. Okay, that looks good. Go down here now. Select one more down. Nothing else. I don't think we'll see anything else because everything should be powered up. Let's just right click this. Ah, now we've got it. Yes, now you see the speed here is eight. Okay, so that basically means it runs, it cooks things eight times faster. If I go and change these coils out, and we know where the coils are because they're exactly one block below the power points. So we'll just knock these out of here like this. I'm not sure if you can have a mix. There's something I never tried. Tell you what, I'm a bit low down. Just do it like this. Now they're invisible but they're not. <laughs> they're actually there. As you see I broke it. When you break it, you actually can see them. So let's put these other coils in here. So let's put the titanium coils in here, like that. And then we have to put on top of that these heat proof bricks again. We have to do the one at the back. I might even work with this one. Let's just try it. I'm not, this is something I haven't tried before. Let's just get this out of my hand, because we know the pattern now. Right click this. See now the speed goes to down to 3.56. So that's got one iridium coil and two titanium coils. Let's just change that again. Here, basically. Well that's gonna be more difficult to put in into place, isn't it? Ha. Huh. Uh no it's not. I'll just do it underneath and catch the Catch the underneath this power point here. Oh, I can't get into position. So I think I'm in position now. Good, yes I am. So let's put this one down here. And then we can put the heat proof brick on top of that. And then it should, have a look at this again, go down. Because we're using titanium, only titanium coils. 
So you see it's now 2.36 speed. So obviously the very best one is to use Iridium in this case is what we are going to use it. Now this doesn't apply in all cases. Iridium isn't the best material in all of their machines. It's a combination, it can be any of those three materials which can be the best one. And you see and notice that I can actually break it once it's actually been built. Let's go up here. So you see another use of that void or, void or resource miner. So these materials you can't find. I don't think I've ever found any iridium, have I? We found rutal oil. So you do it twice because the first time it has to form. Now we get this speed. So now the last thing we have to do, of course, is to make this configured. So that's the assembly machine, assembly tool, and I want the, the configuration tool. In fact, it might be better to do it this way around. So this needs power. So let's give it some power. One, with power to shift it, of course, and then configure it. And this will now have power, as you can see on the left hand side here, where it's got the power. In fact, it, yes, so it's got 300,000 of 300,000 power. We turn it on, and then we can put things into it. Now we have to melt, make some silicon, wasn't it? So let's go and find out what we need for silicon if you can remember from the very long uh, previous episode I, I don't like doing that I am sorry about that so iridium uh, silicon no nope, wrong place try again and I think it's this one so we have to use the arc furnace here so we need one piece of sand we're going to need a, f a reasonable amount of silicon, but maybe the one we'll do is take a stack. And what we do is we put this into here like this. So you can, you can do four stacks. So it's taken one, and you see it gets the animation here, it, and it tells you the speed. So this is eight times speed, don't forget. And it's reasonably slow, even with eight times speed, but it does work through. And very shortly, we'll get our first ingot. So I just wait a few seconds before we get the first ingot. While well, I have a slurp of tea. And as you can see, the colours change as you go up. And I'm not sure exactly how much power it's consuming to do this. It doesn't really tell us. But once it goes up to here, it should disappear back down to the bottom again. As you can see, it's going up to the very top. I think it goes right to the very top. When it gets to the very, very top of this, it's finished. And it's made our ingot for us. And the ingot will come out in the output hatch. There you go. Now we should have one ingot in here. Silicon ingot. And that should complete the quest. Electric arc furnace. Well, and while that's actually, while that's running along, it'll be making some more of those ingots. But those are ingot, that ingot type is important. We need that type of ingot. So I'm going to just have a bit of food because my, my food was going down a bit. Now, I don't think we have any more use for those heat proof blocks. The titanium core is very useful, we'll keep hold of those. We don't need the plot in the ingots, so I will get rid of that. But let's just check our spaces down here. I'm a bit worried. We've got a few more space, a few bit more space, but not so much. So I'm probably going to have to make some more storage cells. Let's have a look. I think I've got a 1k storage, didn't I? I've got 17 of these. Okay, let's do the uses of that one. Because the next one I wanted to do was a 64k, wasn't it? So that is this one. 
What am I missing? Oh, the quartz glass again. You know, this quartz glass is a pain. <laughs> I will be honest. I need to. I need to fully automate that one. So let's try that again. So that makes our four k. We haven't made the sixteen k yet. So let's do. We need three of these. I'm not clicking those all out. I will take one out because we've got quite a few at the moment. We've got quite a few stacks of small items. So then we'll have a look at the uses of this one. Make all sorts of things as you can see. So this is the next one we want and we can complete a quest doing that one. So then we just need to do the uses of this one and then we'll make the, uh, that's a crafting component which we probably could make storage cell. So we need to make storage cells. That's probably the more expensive way of doing it. Let's go back. Oh, I can't go. Oh, yes, I can go back. This one. Yes, you don't use the core to make this one. And we'll just do the same thing again with the 1k. And then we can. No, that should complete a quest actually. I'm not sure why it hasn't done. So let's put this one in here and let's put the 1k one over here. So what did that quest complete? We can claim the reward for that one. And then we can move on to the next item. So it should have been rolling machine before you do that, strictly speaking. Now this was applied, wasn't it? 16k. Oh, I haven't made the fluid storage cell. Of course. Let's just do that. Probably can't. I think there's one K fluid cells, weren't they? So that's one we need. I've run out of pure certis quartz. Fantastic, let's just get some more Certis Quartz. Ten. So give me twenty. And some sand. I'll have a look at this chest. Melons, All right. Yeah, awesome. Um, get rid of that straight away. Ten. just the short term one and we'll just do but I want to get this going as fast as possible so we can finish that one off tell you what I've got some speed upgrades in here I don't need them in there to be honest with you let's put, they're probably more useful in here as you could see that was suddenly fast <laughs> So what were we doing? Six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's what we need. Three of those will make three. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's go back to the this one. So we need to make these. So put those in there. We should be able to make three. Good. And then we could be able to make this one. That's a sixteen k component. And then the 16k storage cell, which means we've got to make this one, which I don't think we've got enough glass for. Let's just calculate the glass. Oh, sorry. Let's do that one. So we need 8, 3, 8, 24, 26 glass. But I haven't got enough materials for glass, but so all. So I'm going to do two sets. I'm going to do 26, 52. And let's hope we've got enough. We're only using 240 bytes so that shouldn't be a problem so now we should be able to complete these off 
three of those, great. And then we should be able to just do this one in. And that should complete the quest. Let's put the 16 key fluid storage cell in here. Wow. As you see, and then the way it keeps going up and it'll keep going up until it gets to the very, very top. Um, what have we got here? The potions one. That's actually not a, a desperately bad one, but I don't really need it. Where do I keep the potions? They're in one of these chests, I know. But I've completely forgotten which one. Here. Splash potion of absorption. Do you know I haven't instant health? Absorption three, regeneration three, and speed two. Oh well, sort that out. That chest out looks really good. So next one. If we come over here, we should have got some more ingots of silicon. Yeah, five six. So they come along. If I'd got, if I'd set that to speed, the cheapest of those, which is probably copper. It's a speed of one. It's very slow. Maybe even less than one. So let's go back now to other worlds. Let's see what we've got to do next. I probably should do the rolling machine. So let's have a look at what we need for a rolling machine. But I'm a bit. Oh, yes, sir. I think the rolling machine is just a single block machine anyway. And this is actually advanced rocketry. So, steel gears. We should have steel gears. Block of iron. That's no big deal. Machine block we might already have. Let's make these up. I think we can do all three of these. I'm not sure about the liquid IO circuit. Yes, we can. Good. And the straightforward IO circuit. And that used the last of the blocks. And we're missing two uh, die. I thought I didn't pick up all of those. Oh, I didn't. I'll tell you what. Let's take six. I'll need more. But it can choose which one it's going to put in the place. At least we just made some more storage, which is good. That was this one, wasn't it? Now steel. I've got 50. Now I don't know. Oh, have we got a seed for steel? If we've got a, steel for, a seed for steel, I'm going to make one. Plenty of uses of it, you see. Yes, there is a. So we've got to take. Yeah, okay, maybe it was worthwhile making seeds for those things. So let's get that into the compactor. Switch the mode to gear. Speed upgrades very fast. So now we should be able to make the rolling machine and complete that quest. Now this thing isn't complicated, it's just a single block. Oh no, no it's not a single block is it? I don't think there's, there's almost none of the machines in the advanced rocketry which are single blocks. So what, what we need for this. Rolling machine. It should tell me Ah, oh, there we go. I knew it was that. So you hold shift on it. So one rolling machine requires one input power plug. Different types of gears. Now it's either going to be titanium or maybe even aluminium or rudium is going to be the best. Copper and gold are reasonably weak. Sixteen, six machine structures, two input hatches, um, a fluid hatch, 
a motor. Now the motors you want the elite motors makes things go faster and two output hatches. So it's fairly expensive. But we'll see how we can get on and do this. And I'll try not to mess around with this one this time. A bit of practice, you know, makes perfect as it were. Um Rutile or what have we got in here? We should have a reasonable amount of cinnabar. We have. <laughs> now, what was that I picked up here? They stabilized. So, this is the induction smelter, isn't it? I'll tell you what, let's put all of that in. 17. Let's split this into. I'm not going to do this with cheap ores. When I say cheap ores, ones we don't have very many of. Let's do eight of those and do nine of these. Let's go and put this plate away. I've got more plates. I should get them out. Plates and gears, I've got them in here, haven't I? I have got enough capacity. Let's take what we can. So at least it's going to be iron gears we're going to need. But we, you've seen what we've got. I'll come back. I don't need the silicon ingots with me. We need to make that into silicon balls at some stage. What have we got here? Constant templates. So, I want to shift right. Press E and hold down the shift on that. So, a power input plug. Let's have a look. Now, So by selecting that, because we've got some things which run advanced rocketry and other things which are this uh, Vilpi's library. So we need a power point. That's a power output and that's a power input point. Ah, uh -huh. they're not making us small batteries. Let's have a look. Recipe for this one. I'm a bit puzzled by that actually. I'm going to be dead honest with you. Four. I think we, we need two of those. No, we only need one, but it's not a harm to have two. Um, machine structures, I probably need to make some more of these. Because we needed some for the thing anyway. How many do we need for the for the construction? Oops. One plug coils times two. What does air times six mean? Machine structure is six. Air. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, it means nothing. <laughs> I guess just air. <laughs> That's a strange one to have, isn't it? <laughs> right. I'm not going to get time to complete this today. I can tell. Because these things just take a while to do. But what I will do is I'll prepare the stuff. Because a lot of it is exactly the same as we've done before. Is there anything new in this one? Six machine structures. A motor. And a fluid input hatch. So let's have a look at the motors. Everything's on this one page. So it should be alright for that. He says, not being able to see the motors. Oh, here we go, yes. This is the one we want to make. So it's iridium plates, titanium coils. And we need one of those, I think. Well, the iridium plates are fairly straightforward. I'm probably going to make a seed. Um, let's see. Yeah, oops. You click in, of course, you're putting the stuff in. Let's take that out there and get the last one more block in there, which is nice because we've got another one of those. Cinnabar. 
smelting it we've got 24 and I've got no more space left let's put that out of the way take this in here and then put in iridium we're doing isn't it 28 will do fine that will give us that was oh yes, titanium ingots no sorry platinum platinum ingots shiny metal so I'm completely full let me get rid of my move this out of my hand don't want it in my hand because it'll give give us problems let's get rid of these don't need the batteries with me don't need the platinum we've got three coils that's good so it was just some iridium plates probably make a seed by the looks of it I think for doing these we can do that I can do it off camera anyway so we need some plates let's go to the press mode and let's do 12 plates yes 12 plates will do it's interesting that because you've got to make plates to make the rolling machine and the rolling sheet machine is the thing that makes the plates yes okay <laughs> doesn't quite work out does it so let's get this one done we should be, oh we've got some rods to make I guess that's the easiest way for that one there must be an iridium plates yes we can do that one we know that could have done it in the metal press cast it and the rolling machine of course yes okay I think that's the only way let's just get this motor built so we've got one elite motor so that's the first one I've done now let's have a look at that recipe again we need one motor output hatches and then a the fluid input hatch and then that's the rest of that. Let's have a look. Fluid input hatches. Now they look slightly different. That's the rocket loader. Oh, here we go. Input hatch, output hatch, fluid input hatch. So he's basically a bucket with a structure. And of course, buckets, oddly enough, are a Straight enough, a bit of a pain to make in string and iron plates, or we can take the ones I've got already prepared. Got 12, let's make two. We're going to need them, whatever we do. So, how many of these do we need? Fluid input challenge. I think it was just the one. It is good. Well, basically, that's almost everything that we need so I'm going to I'm going to prepare that stuff for the next episode so until then I wish you all the best bye for now